Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now in today's video, I got a quick tip for you that can help you if you run into this specific scenario. Now a lot of the times you run into this specific scenario when you have not been driving your radio control vehicle around. Ultimately what happens is you run up your power system for the very first time either that day or ever. And what you notice is that you get some sort of vibration from the motor, it makes a funny noise, it kind of sits there and goes back and forth a little bit. You don't get a a full rotation of the propeller and if you do it quickly stops again here's what that scenario might look like for you Now ultimately, if you do encounter this specific situation, one of the first things that you need to do is stop immediately. You do not want to continue trying to throttle up the motor to see if it's going to work. Odds are it's not going to work and what you need to do is figure out why. Ultimately what you can do if you do not decide to stop immediately is you could have complete failure within that speed control. And the reason why you could have failure within the speed control is because it's trying to pass all kinds of power to the motor but the motor is just not taking it. You don't have the synchronization there and you're experiencing a high amount of current being drawn and passed through that speed control. Too much heat within the speed control then ultimately leads to that failure point. And this is exactly what we want to avoid and learn from this video. Now one of the reasons that you could be experiencing this kind of behavior from your motor is because of one of the leads from your brushless speed control to your brushless motor is not connected. Now this could happen simply just because you forgot to actually make that last connection from your speed control to your motor. It could also happen because of a poor joint from one of your connectors to the leads of either your motor or your speed control. Don't assume that just because it comes from the factory and those bullet connectors from the factory have been placed on there that they're 100% okay. They could have an issue with them. Odds are if you do have a problem from one of the leads of your power system to the connector, you would be able to actually grab a hold of that connector and pull it right off from the wire because there would be virtually no connection. Now luckily for us, this specific scenario is very easy to fix. We either need to do one of a couple different things. The first one is if we have an issue with the bullet connector of our motor or speed control, all we need to do is simply solder that on correctly. The other scenario is if we didn't plug it in, obviously all we need to do there is just plug in the proper connector so that we can power up our motor. The big takeaway from this video is that if you do encounter a problem, and it's not just limited to this specific scenario playing out, it is covering essentially all different scenarios where we have a problem with the speed control and motor, and we hear it from the motor side. If you do encounter any of these situations, what you need to do immediately is stop operating the throttle on that power system. Stopping any further throttle usage could save you a speed control, and better yet, could prevent any further damage. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this very short quick tip. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, smash that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.